New LED lights greeting the passengers at a Newark, New Jersey airport are doing a little more than just lighting the way. They're spying on travelers before they even get to the security checkpoints. The lights are fitted with computer chips, cameras, sensors, and Wi-Fi antennas. They collect data that can help detect suspicious activity or aid in police investigations. We reported on these spying streetlights in 2011 when Illuminating Concepts promoted the capability of IntelliStreet lights, which include energy conservation, homeland security, public safety, traffic control, advertising, and video surveillance. Using streetlights as surveillance tools has already been advanced by several European countries. Leaked documents out of the UK Home Office revealed that the British authorities were working on proposals to fit lamp posts with cameras that would X-ray passersby and undress them in order to trap terror suspects. And it isn't just for street surveillance. These LED lights are also offering an alternative to Wi-Fi for your home and office. German physicist Harold Haas has come up with a data through illumination LED light bulb, where data for laptops, smartphones, and tablets is transmitted through the light in a room. Here's a patent for LED light broadband over the power line communication system. Now, considering the assignee is the Federal Law Enforcement Development Services, I doubt that the end game is just upping your city's bandwidth. City offices in Minnesota installed these ceiling lights in 2010 to save money on electricity thanks to the energy efficiency of the LEDs, but the lights also transmit coded messages with the desks below, which will allow data to be transmitted over the internet Wi-Fi style. Now, while the Fourth Amendment affirms the right of the people to be secure in their homes against unlawful searches and seizures, people might be unwittingly bringing these spy devices right into their homes under the guise of efficiency. Seemingly innocuous electrical appliances, such as rice cookers and refrigerators, are now being manufactured with Google's Android operating system and an internet connection. Of course, the suggestion is that these technological leaps are a good thing. But Google long ago announced its plans to direct targeted advertising through technological devices by using the ambient background noise of a person's environment to spy on their activities. The search engine giant filed a petition for advertising based on environmental conditions and describes using temperature, humidity, light, and air composition to produce targeted adverts. Google recently purchased smart thermostat maker Nest for more than $3 billion. Nest takes over the heating and cooling system of a person's home to direct energy consumption. Well, now the thermostats will be enhanced by Google to connect with the web. Google has made no secret about literally wanting to control your home. So now they're just making sure all of your appliances are equipped with this surveillance technology when they're ready to launch. Everything from Xbox to Verizon TV boxes have this technology that enables industries to peer right into your home and analyze your actions, conversations, and relationships. The terms of service for Xbox Live warn that a user should not expect any level of privacy concerning use of the live communication features. And to the maximum extent permitted by law, they may monitor your communications and disclose information about you. The most disturbing and worrisome Big Brother gossip is not that Xbox maker Microsoft was involved in the NSA PRISM scandal or that the console sits listening 24-7 for voice commands. No, the most startling revelation is Kinect's ability to map your shape in high def. The new Xbox One can see your penis. Now, these are just several ways that the government has already tapped into your home, but I haven't even touched on the smartest device that you own. Your phone comes equipped with a microphone, camera, and tracking device that gives the NSA backdoor access to everything you do and who you're doing it with. But no, I'm not talking about your phone. I've just been talking about light bulbs and thermostats. It should be abundantly clear by now that this has nothing to do with energy efficiency and innovation. This is about a well-planned, well-orchestrated agenda for the complete transformation of America. Educate yourself on every aspect of this agenda so that you can learn how to fight this takeover attempt. And on simplest terms, vote with your dollars by refusing to buy into this smart technology. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents. 
where kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high, and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.